Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be solving the 5x5x5 five by five by five Professor's Cube. The Professor's Cube is very similar to the Rubik's Revenge because it has multiple center pieces, uh, multiple edge pieces, and a single corner piece. The notations for this are also the same, like RW would be turning the right wedge, not with this middle layer, but this right wedge over here, these two layers, that will be RW. And similarly to the 3x3, three three, um, M would be turning this down, and E would refer to this layer, and S would be slicing this layer. If you don't know about the notations, you can watch my video about the patterns and notations on the 3x3, three three, which is similar to the 5x5. Five five. We will also be doing the same outline for this, like the centers first, and then the edges, and then solving this like the 3x3. Three three. So now that we have the basics covered, let's go ahead and scramble our cube, and let's start solving. So now we have our scrambled cube. As you can see, we have five different layers, which means we have a fixed middle layer. So we don't need to check the color scheme unlike we did with a 4x4, because this will always be white, the white side, the opposite would always be the yellow, and so on. So the first thing that we have to do is to fix this white layer. It's pretty intuitive. You don't have to follow any algorithms or worry about anything else because this is the first phase we have to build. And you just have to make sure that the outcome is that the white center would be fixed. So just like the 4x4, once we have fixed this white um, centerpiece, we have to go for the yellow centerpiece. Remember for that, every time we put the any wedge up, we have to put the pieces we mo moved out of the way and put it back so that our pieces would still be fixed for the white center and the yellow pieces would be in their place. Fast forward to when we have this last bar and the other two bars here. So we can't just do this because doing so would break up the white center. So what we have to do is to make sure that we align the two bars and we put this up. We perform a U2 move and put it back down so that we have the yellow center fixed while keeping the white fixed as well. So once we have the yellow and the white side fixed, doing the first non-white yellow side would be easy because we won't be worrying about breaking up any of the th other three um, sides. So I chose green to be our first and let's go for orange as the second. So what we'll be doing will be constructing the orange center. So for that, we have this small bar over here, this 2 by one bar, and then we raise it, and then we put this out of the way, so that when we put it back down, none of the pieces would be affected, and they will make this small square over here. So after that, we look for the next 2 by one um, orange here, and then we put it up, put it out of the way, and then we put it back down, so that we will have this 2 by 3 center over here. Lastly is this 3x1 bar over here, so we make sure that the two are aligned and then we put it up and then put it to where it's vacant and then put it back. So doing that, we have fixed the orange and kept our green in its correct position. So now that we're down to the final two corner pieces, what you want to make sure is that they are aligned. This one is on the top right and the one at the top is on the bottom right. So you have to do this algorithm. It's RW, U, and RW prime, and U prime. So that would bring it to the bar position. So make sure that they are aligned, like this blue bar here and blue bar up there. And you have to perform that algorithm again. So it's RW, but this time it's U2 and RW prime. And we have fixed all our center pieces, white, green, and orange. The next part would be solving for the edges. So doing that, we need to make sure that um, one center edge is aligned with one, one or two, one corner edge, and we have to perform this algorithm. If the corner edge is on the top left and the middle edge is right here, so we have to do this. It's U W prime R U 
R prime and U W. So this is the two by one edge piece and the final piece is over here. So we have to do that algorithm again because this one is on the top left and the two are on the bottom right. So that will be U W prime R U R prime and U W. So as you can see, we have now fixed one three by one edge piece. You may come across an example where the pieces are directly across each other and by that I mean that this piece would be across this one and it should go here, the yellow orange pair. So to do that, we will be doing an algorithm from the four by four, which goes like R, U prime, B prime, and R two so that this piece would be flipped and once we do an algorithm, it will directly go in here now. The final example is that this piece is on the top right and the other two pieces that it needs to pair with are on the bottom left. So in this algorithm, we have to perform this. It's U W and then L prime, then U prime, and then L, and finally, U, W prime. So now we have fixed this blue orange edge pieces. So now that we're down to the last two edges, we can see that this piece and this piece are swapped as the blue red needs to go where in the yellow green places. So to fix this, we need to perform this algorithm. So that would be L, W prime, U two, L, W prime, U2, F2, LW prime, and F2, F2, sorry, RW, U2, RW prime, U2, and finally, LW2. So we have swapped these two pieces, and now they are both correct. So now that we have made the corner, um, sorry, the edge pieces and the center pieces, we can now compare this to a 3x3 and solve it like a 3x3. So the first thing we have to do is the white cross, so um, white orange over there, white green here. I won't be going too much into how to solve this like a 3x3, for I have a separate video on how to do that. So now we have the white cross. Next up is we have to fix the white corner, so white orange green needs to go in here. So we put it up and put it down again. Uh, blue orange also here. So um, right there. And next up is white, blue, red. Where is the white, blue, red? It's here. So we just have to make sure it's on the last layer and insert it. And finally, the white, red, green. And now we have our first layer and our white uh, face fixed. So now that we're moving on to the second until fourth layer, we have to find a layer, I mean an edge piece that does not have a yellow. So that's red, blue here. So we align it and then check the top color, blue. It's on the left. So we put it on the right. We bring up the left side, put it back and put it down. Face the blue side, turn it to the left, raise the red side, put it back and insert. And now we have the blue red edge pieces over there. Next up is orange blue. So um, orange, align it with orange, check the top color, that's blue, it's on the right. So we put it on the left, we raise it, we put it that, put it to the left, I mean right, and then put it down, face the blue. Then we just insert this piece over there. So and then we put it back. And now we have inserted this blue orange edge piece here. So the final steps are the yellow side. So that's a bar over there. So we have to do an algorithm twice. No, actually once, sorry. Once only. And then we have the four yellow edges on their place. And then we check for two colors. One is away from us, that's the blue. And the other one is to the left, that's the red. And then we perform the algorithm R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, 
R prime and U prime. So now that we have completed all the colors, like the edge pieces and their colors. So the final steps will be orienting the corners and we can just do this. The algorithms that I am using are similar to the algorithms that are used in solving the 3x3 in the beginner's method. So if you don't know the algorithms, go check out my video on how to solve the 3x3. Now we have solved our professor's cube. Since the professor's cube is a 5-layered Rubik's cube, this won't have any parities because it is an odd-numbered puzzle unlike the 4x4, the 6x6, and any other even n by n by n puzzles. So that will be all for the video on the 5x5x5 professor's cube. So what did you think? Have anything to say? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to know if I posted a new video. Thanks for watching. Dice out!